Hello, this is Dr. Mark Miravalli. I'm here in Ireland with Anne Leopostle. And we are going through Volume 2, Conversations with the Eucharistic Heart of Jesus. I'm going to read to you the September 2nd, 2003 message, and this will be followed by a commentary by Anne. The words of our Lord Jesus are as follows. My children, these words are lessons in love. I seek to teach you that love is sacrifice. The two words, love and sacrifice, are nearly interchangeable from the heavenly perspe perspective. If you love someone, you are willing to sacrifice for their well-being. In earthly terms, if you value or love a thing, you are willing to work, save, and plan to acquire that thing. If you place that same concept into heavenly terms, you can take a virtue, such as the virtue of obedience. If obedience is a valuable thing to you, a desired thing, you will work, sacrifice, and be patient until you acquire this virtue. It is the very same with all of the heavenly virtues. I want you to value and put great emphasis on these heavenly virtues. I, your Jesus, am saying to you, truly, you will need to have these things to acquire heaven. You believe me and know that I am speaking only the truth. So you must begin to concentrate on the acquisition of these virtues. You must sacrifice to achieve these virtues. You are practicing and these virtues are becoming more second nature. You see them in your daily lives and your behaviors are changing. We are working on patience. We are working on trust. We are working on fortitude. You are becoming kinder and more compassionate. My children, all is going as it should be. I tell you that you are destined for great holiness, and you will achieve this holiness if you remain united to me. And you will do so because I will protect you. Children, do not seek to further or advance the opinions others have of you. It is irrelevant. Please spend no time at all wondering or worrying about this. <clears throat> Worldly opinions change with the wind, and a person could think well of you one day and slander you the next. You must not rely on these opinions for your peace, because, as you have learned, you will be disappointed. Instead, rely on me, who does not change. My opinion of you remains steady. I will always love you. I will always seek your betterment and well-being. I will always help you and consider your interests my own. So spend no time entertaining grief that the world does not appreciate you. You will be appreciated in heaven, and indeed, this is already the case. Heaven is pleased with holy souls and seeks to assist them. Your heavenly friends will do more good for you than worldly friends who are not rooted in God. Be at peace, dear ones, as I will warn you when another seeks to harm you. I will protect you. Be assured that if you follow me, all that occurs in your life will be for the advancement of your soul and the virtues I wish your soul to house. If you are ill particularly, spend your days with me and I can show you heights of holiness that will leave you breathless. I work with great energy in the soul of someone who suffers physically. Trust me, please, with everything, for I am caring for you lovingly. And your comments. It's so beautiful the way um, the Lord begins this message, talking about love and sacrifice. And, you know, we think of sacrifice. Who, who will we sacrifice for, really? Um, <clears throat> typically our, our loved ones, our children, our husbands or wives, our mothers, our... But Jesus is really challenging us to pull this sacrifice out further into the whole family of God. Mm -hmm. You know, if, if we, we as apostles are called to sacrifice for God's plan during this time, you know? So, I mean, there has to be an extension of the circle that, for whom we were, are willing to sacrifice. Christ is saying, um, think, of, think of me as your family. Mm -hmm. I'm your family. Sacrifice for my goal. So I think that's beautiful. He talks about the virtues and that we have to work patiently to acquire these virtues. We can never be satisfied that we are holy enough. Yeah, it's really that Catholic combination of the grace of the virtue, mm -hmm. but 
man's need to uh, cooperate. You know, it's, it's that beautiful mixture of grace and nature. Mm -hmm. And as, as Jesus is bombing us with these graces, mm -hmm. he's also saying, you have to work. He's you saying, have to make yeah, the habit. Be part of the team. Right. And I have seen um, uh, at times something that's a stumbling block to God's making us saints is that we say, well, I'm an impatient person. That's how I am. Well, you won't be that way in heaven. Mm -hmm. So you'll have to acquire that virtue before you get to heaven. So it's good to work on it now. Mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> so um, Jesus says, don't pay any attention to the opinions of others because he says they're so changeable. You know, tomorrow they'll, they'll be for you. To, the next day they'll be against you. He says, worry about my opinion of you. And he says, I'm mm -hmm. not going to change. I love you constantly. It really seems to be the testimony of the saints that by God's grace, they really didn't care what other no. people thought mm -hmm. of them. And that, mm -hmm. that was freeing. I mean, one person said, the first thing you have to give up if you really want to serve Jesus and Mary wholeheartedly is your reputation. That's right. What other people think of you. So it, Because it, it will paralyze you. Mm -hmm. It will alter your service. And as lay apostles, we have to be sure that nothing alters our service during this time. Each one of us is very important to heaven. Each one of us has to aim for pure purity in service. The enemy will try to tell you, well, you know, you're going to be looked down on and you have to be, you have to be strong enough to walk away from that. Um, Jesus says, you're not appreciated. Maybe you're not appreciated on earth, but he says, you'll be appreciated in heaven. He says, we already appreciate you in heaven. Mm -hmm. Right now, you're appreciated in heaven. And that is so beautiful. It's just constant encouragement. And yeah. you, you can't but think of, of the life of Jesus. I mean, he yeah. was the sign of contradiction. Mm -hmm. And really, by the time he gets to the cross, he's only got one really with him, with, which is his mother, who yeah. becomes the mother of the sign. And, and of course, there's John and the yeah. Magdalene, but yeah. there's very few. Yeah. But, um, but imagine <clears throat> God the Father's appreciation of, of, of Jesus taking the cross. I mean, it's really an invitation for us to do the same thing. Exactly. And, you know, um, the other thing Jesus says, I will protect you in all of this. You know, we are invited to carry a cross with us. If we are serving Jesus Christ today, we're carrying a cross. That's a given. Um, we have to be at peace with the idea that the Lord didn't give us a cross that makes it impossible for us to comply with his plan. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Some people say, well, I could do it if I, if I um, didn't have this cross. Well, the cross is it. And, yeah. and isn't it beautiful how he kind of concludes with talking about the ill, you know, the people that are yeah. sick. Mm -hmm. I mean, just, just on that note of, yeah. you know, I, I could really help this, this rescue mission for souls mm -hmm. if I was well. And Jesus mm -hmm. is saying, really, it's the opposite. That's right. Through this illness, I can really speed your path to holiness. That's exactly right. He says, uh, he talks about the if you're sick and suffering, the advancement in your soul. And what I have seen is that people who suffer a lot, um, they have a real capacity to accept Christ, and He gives them very important jobs. Whether they view them as important or not is another question. Mm -hmm. But um, that could, um, suffering is seriously underestimated with regard to the holiness it can bring to people. So it's a message of love and sacrifice, not paying attention to what the world says, mm -hmm. but being true to Jesus, mm -hmm. knowing His protection, and knowing that all of us, including the sick, Mm -hmm. are called for this rescue mission for souls. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Anne. Mm -hmm.